Flix 6.5 includes a new relinking system, which means panels can now originate from anywhere and Flix will recognize them when importing from Storyboard Pro. In this tutorial, we'll walk through round tripping panels that originated in Flix through Storyboard Pro, so you can see how sequences no longer require panels to all come from the same sketching app in order to gain the benefit of Flix's versioning and asset management system. So starting off in Flix, let's create a clean sequence revision and then drag and drop image files to populate it. If you want to monitor their progress, you can click here on the transfer queue. Now save the new revision and we can comment on it that this was a manual import. Now Storyboard Pro is already set as my default sketching app, so I can send this new sequence to Storyboard Pro by clicking on the Open in Sketching App button. Click Export and Flix generates an XML file containing all the metadata Storyboard Pro needs to conform the sequence. Over in Storyboard Pro I have here a fresh project, so let's import our Flix XML. You can see here that the files are tagged with metadata from Flix. This is what Flix uses to automatically track and manage your assets and will make your life a lot easier when round tripping from external sketching apps. And you'll see why in a moment. Let's add a brand new panel in here and also change the duration of this panel that originated from Flix. Okay. Now let's save this and import our sequence back from Storyboard Pro using Flix's Storyboard Pro import tool. Browse to the SPPZ package or SBoard file to import. Because I created a fresh Storyboard Pro project, I'd like it to also be available to everyone on my production. So I'm going to leave this store source file option on. Now that's imported, you can see here on the sequence page that there is this download button showing you that you can always acquire the source file now from Flix's server, should anyone ever need it. Okay, let's check our updated revision. There's our brand new panel, and it has a fresh panel ID, and here is the one we altered the duration of. You can see that Flix has versioned this one up. In previous releases, this panel would have a new panel ID, but now, with Flix 6.5's relinking system, it forces it to version up. It only does this on the first import from Storyboard Pro. On subsequent round trips, if nothing changes with this panel, it will relink it and only version it up if a camera move is changed or some other significant revision is made to the panel. So panels can now originate from anywhere and Flix will recognize them when importing from Storyboard Pro. Thanks for watching.